And then finally, our ARCHICAD tip of the week is gravity and the level dimension tool. And this is important as well when you're talking about uh, side trend. Let me explain why. So whenever you place a new wall, column, beam, or any object element, including level dimensions, um, you can use a gravity function. So if you're not familiar with the gravity function, uh, what it allows you to do is to automatically place um, you know, these, these elements to the top of a slab, roof, shell, or mesh. So if I go to my uh, standard toolbar here and I click this, looks like this little icon here, a little button just to the side of it, you'll see it brings up these options here to gravitate to roof, to shell, to slab, or to mesh. So if, I gravitate, if I'm working with a site terrain, right, and I want to gravitate this to a mesh, well, as an example here, say I was placing some tree. I wanted one tree to snap to the top of this point here, another tree to snap to uh, the bottom of the train there, another one to snap to the top of this point here. By clicking gravitate to mesh, when I go to place each of these individual objects, even if I do it in 2D here, it knows when I click it in 2D to automatically snap these different elements to the different level heights of those different um, points within that mesh. And that's what's really nice about that. You can also use it, uh, besides doing it here, I can use the same icons in the coordinates palette, uh, which you can uh, go to your Windows menu, and then you open your coordinates palette. So if you use this, uh, you have the same gravitate or uh, gravity options here within that that you can use as well. Now, the level dimensions are also very helpful. Uh, because if you want to snap to very, like if you're using your level dimensions, you want to place level dimensions into your site, and you want it to automatically take on the different points of your site, that's where this really helps. So if you have a, a site model here that has some different um, variations in it for slabs, uh, for your, your mesh, uh, and for various other elements of your project, you don't have to, you don't have to you know, go and figure that out separately and then go and enter that in. You simply, again, go up to your info, uh, uh, or your, your standard tools menu here. Uh, you go select, gravitate to roof, shell, slab, or mesh. In this case, if I want gravitate to slab as an example, then when I click to you know the slab, it'll click the slab. If I want gravitate to mesh, and I want it to go to different points of the mesh, then I could, I could when I click, it's gonna click and snap to those. And this is really helpful, again, when you're placing down level dimensions and you want to actually have it snap. And if the mesh, and this is what's really helpful, if the mesh should change as you're going and perhaps changing, oops, uh, changing um, uh, the, the heights of your mesh, uh, you know, contours, for example, as you're moving those to um, show different uh, um, in order to change the mesh so that it works with your new building design, uh, then these levels, the level dimensions you place down, are going to automatically change with your changes as well. And that's the other nice thing to placing level dimensions down because they're smart dimensions that will automatically change as you move the slabs up or down that they you connected to the to them or the mesh as you change it. And of course, it will also snap to roofs and to shells as well. That is our tip of the week.